Hi, my name is Mackenzie Bear. I was on a first semester nursing student. It is November 3rd, 2016 at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm going to demonstrate how to um, insert an enema and remove it. I'm going to fill, make sure that I have all my supplies gathered. I'm going to go fill up my enema bag to between 500 and 1,000 mLs and get started. I'm going to have um, lukewarm water. Not too hot and not too cold. After I fill up my bag, I'm going to hang it on a clip and I'm going to unclamp it to prime my tubing to make sure that there's no air in there. I'm going to clamp it back and take it into my room with me. I'm going to hang it on my ID pole. I'm going to introduce myself to my patient, um, check two patient identifiers, and check my order. I will perform hand hygiene and place clean gloves on. I will assess my patient's abdomen for tenderness and see if it is distended. I will ask them um, when their last bowel movement was and the consistency and the color and how much. And then I'll make sure they have a um, pad underneath them in case anything leaks out. I will then assess their mobility and see if they can get up to a bedside commode or if they need a bedpan. And I will have all those supplies properly ready before we do the enema. So then I will have them roll over on their left side Their top right knee bended, flexed forward. Make sure their pads are underneath them. And then at this point, I would take my enema and I would lubricate the tip. have a napkin ready for whenever we pull it out. I will hold it at their waist level and whenever they're ready I'll let them know that we're going to get started and I will insert it into their anus and then if they are, if it's getting too tight or they're not relaxing I'll have them take a deep breath and I'll insert it three to four inches and I'll leave it in there and then I would unclamp the tube and as they could bear it, I would raise the bag 12 to 18 inches above their hip and I would hold it there until they could take as much as they could handle. And then once they were finished and they needed it to pull out or they needed it to slow down, I could lower the bag and I would clamp the tube back off and I would let them know that I'm about to remove the tube. I would remove the tube and place it in a napkin. And then if we were finished with this, I could throw this in the trash. And then I would I would um, help them roll back over or stay on their side if they wanted to, whichever was most comfortable for them. I would have them try to hold it for 5 to 15 minutes. If they needed to go right then, I would assist them to the commode right then. Otherwise, if they could hold it, then I would give them their call light within reach and I would take my gloves off and I would perform hand hygiene and I would lower them down to the lowest portion of the bed and roll them back over. And I would lower their bed back down and give them the call light and I would leave the room until they needed to go and then 
I would document my enema.